I am Leroy Truth for Leroy Truth Investigations. I am Leroy Truth, I am Leroy Leroy Truth for Leroy Truth Investigations investigation. because the truth matters. I am Leroy Truth. As you see, this is Carolina in Fort Worth. This beautiful young woman here, this is how she looked up until a psychotic, sick human being who happens to wear a badge and gun did this to this innocent woman. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. As many of you know, what was this woman's crime? That in that police officer's warped, sick mind, she deserved this? She did this. She was recording police officers in the course of her duty. Her duty. She was recording police officers in the course of her duty. As an observer, a witness, and someone who has a First Amendment right to speak. And what were these police officers doing? They were towing cars in some area. Signs say, validated parking, please register upon parking. Business is can then validate parking for Folk Street warehouses. Ways to validate. You can scan the QR code or text pay. Failure to pay or extend time may result in boots. Okay, so how do they know if they paid or not? That's what I want to know. How do they know if they paid or not? How do you know if they paid or not? How do you guys know if they paid or not? Oh, they're going to ignore me too. Help! Rape! Fire! 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 That's great community relations too. How do you know if they paid or not, ladies? Hey, ladies, hey, ladies, hey, ladies, hey, Kruger. No, I'm not going to the floor. Go there's no investigation, there's no nothing. You can go to the other side of the street, you're going to get arrested. I'm not warning you again. What are you talking about? Go to the other side of the why? street. Why? Right Wait, tell me why first. We're doing an investigation. You're under arrest. Turn off. No, 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 I'm not under it. Okay, you go. Stop resisting. Caroline here. She was simply asking questions, which she had a right to do. She was not physically interfering. She was not interfering. She was asking questions. When we see police officers, we are not required by law to suddenly become mutes. They may not like what we have to say, but we have a constitutionally protected right to say it, and they're supposed to protect our constitutional rights. Not do this. Um, not do this. When a woman looked like this a few minutes ago. Earlier this morning, I saw James Freeman's piece that he did at midnight, around midnight Eastern time in his car. And that was one of the most powerful, profound, truth B-O-M, B-B-B-S, I have to spell it here for this platform. Not from a constitutional activist, a constitutional guardian, a First Amendment auditor, which I don't think he would categorize himself as any of those things. But those are some of the wisest, most direct, truthful perspectives from a human being on this planet that I have ever heard. I'm going to talk about good cops and bad cops. There's two types of bad cops. The one that's very easy to identify is a person like Matthew Kruger, the police officer who did this to Carolyn Rodriguez of Carolina and Fort Worth YouTube channel. However, the other bad cops, as responsible as Kruger, Matthew, Freddy Kruger, are the police officers who were there who did nothing and allowed the charges, these four completely false charges, to be done against 
Carolyn Rodriguez. Right before Matthew Kruger did what he did, there were two female police officers walking in front of Carolyn. They had no care in the world. They did not view her as a threat. They were walking away from her and unfortunately ignoring her. And by the way, this footage comes from Brian, here's the deal. I want to give him credit. He did a great job on a, about an eight minute piece he did yesterday. Go to the other side of the why? Right Wait, tell me why first. We're doing an You're under arrest. Right right no, 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 I'm not under it. Okay, you go. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Now listen to her. Her breathing is extremely disturbing. Diagonal breathing is called. Female officer says, I'm going to move out of the way so you can see this here. She says, she's bleeding. That cop had absolutely no right to do anything to her. She was breaking no law. He says, I'm just going to, I'm not going to give you a warning. I'm going to tell you one single time. And bam, takes her down viciously. And this is the thing, every actual good police officer has to hold that cop or any other cop who does something like that accountable. There is no us and them, ladies and gentlemen. We're all humans. And I know as James Freeman talked about, he said, you know what, there's no change in this. The system is set up that there's nothing, in his words, that can be done to change anything. He says there's nothing that can be done to change and to stop not just bad police officers, but evil, psychopathic human beings who happen to wear a badge and a gun. That there's nothing to stop that person from doing that, doing that again. And maybe not that particular person, maybe that particular person will eventually be held accountable if we scream majorly loud and insist he be held accountable but that won't change the system and the culture one iota. So I agree with you on that, James. I do know we can change it. And I wanna talk with you, James, as we've talked numerous times before, James Freeman, and with police officers, and with community leaders, and other constitutional guardians, and co-create a strategy that actually will change things, because this, it has been unacceptable for the other 10,000 or 100,000 or more times that this is caught on video. These are not a few bad apples. I know Carolyn. We have talked a number of times. I was on a live stream with her. Delightful, delightful young woman. Smart and fearless. And she did nothing wrong whatsoever. <laughs> And that's the piece of garbage, sociopath, right there. Forget about he's a police officer. He's a disgusting, pathetic human being. And no one stopped him. He should have been immediately arrested. If that was you or I doing that, bam. They take us down hard. And they would have a right to take us down hard. Because we posed a threat. That we created a victim. He created a profound victim. And Carolyn Rodriguez. This can't stand, ladies and gentlemen. This needs to be a tipping point for the movement of accountability. When a police officer creates a victim and egregiously, physically assaults a small young woman for doing nothing wrong except asking questions and documenting and recording.